If you hear funny things in the background, it's my hubby playing with my dog throwing the ball down the hallway. Um, I've got to tell this story. This is like nothing really to do with writing unless you want to choose to apply this to like a psychological thriller or something. But I had a really interesting thing this morning and I will show the videos that I happened to be recording this morning when this thing was happening and I didn't realize the significance of these videos until later when I left to go to work. Um, I'm going to show those videos now and then I'm going to provide a little bit of context. For making up stories, so it works. Um, the other one that uh, I think is always fun is to find a random first sentence of a story prompt and then work with that. Uh, I had one a while back, and actually this is another one where it was just a, f for some reason this first line came to me, my dog's barking, sorry, Vader, 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 come, I may have to be right back, somebody's unlocking my door. <laughs> okay, nobody was trying to unlock my door. Apparently my uh, electric kettle, I had turned it on and forgot. <laughs> and apparently the beeps from that to let me know that it's done sound just like my unlocking mechanisms on my doors to my house. So there's another random way to come up with a, you could come up with a horror story that way. Anytime you hear something go bump in the night, which I'm sure happens often enough for anybody, just come up with a story based off of that if you like scary stories or thrillers. Or I guess you could probably do like a, a, a middle grade thing where they go to investigate the bump in the night and then it's not and then go into something else. But that'd be a fun hook maybe. Um, anyway, I'm getting so off track. So uh, I was talking before the dog interrupted and I thought somebody was trying to break in and murder me. Um, <laughs> So, um, clearly, I thought that somebody was uh, breaking into my house, and that's why my dog was barking. Then I thought, oh, it's just my uh, electric kettle. Um, but I happen to have combo locks on my doors, so they apparently sound very similar to my electric kettle. Now, uh, I think it's particularly funny watching these videos in retrospect for me, because I'm going to explain the situation and what ended up happening. Uh, shortly, but the whole fact that I was like, oh, somebody's gonna break in and murder me, like just nonchalant. Um, when I shortly after shooting that video uh, and actually deciding that take didn't work and doing a different one, shortly after doing that video, I left for work. And <laughs> when I left to work, I noticed the reason my dog was barking was that there was a bunch of cops around my whole entire like uh, block, like. I'm not even kidding, like maybe 20 to 30 police officers, like all parked and blocking off the place. And as I left, they stopped my car and they had to search it and stuff. They're like, we're searching for somebody. They're, they're like, they escape custody or whatever. Uh, and I was like, holy crud. And I was going to work like an hour and a half early. I figured I had some makeup time I had to do. And I had like, uh, I figured I'd get like a half hour of overtime. I get halfway to work and I'm like, I had that awful feeling like, did I leave the oven on? But like for the, did I lock my back door? If there's that many police officers surrounding my block, this person has to be wanted for something pretty bad. And I'm like, my hubby's asleep. He's not answering his phone because the phone never wakes him up for some reason. So I can't tell him what's going on or anything. I'm like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to go back. So I went back because it was driving me nuts not to know for sure that I locked my back door. Even though I was like, of course I locked my back door. I always lock it. But anyway, I drove back and on the way in they stopped me and like researched my car. They tried to tell me, you can't go in there. I'm like, I live there and they made me give them their address and stuff. And, uh, and then, um, they explained, it's like, we're searching for, uh, a suspect in a homicide. <laughs> I wish I was making this up. It sounds like, I promise I'm good at making up stories. That's why I'm writing. But, <laughs> but I wish I was making this up, but I guess there was... I guess the whole story, which I found out later after I looked it up on the news, was that uh, a ways from my house, like several miles away, uh, these 
like four guys or three guys, I guess, they were leaving a bar and they were drunk and one guy decided to hit another guy with a bottle and that guy pulled out his gun and shot the other guy who hit him with the bottle. And then like three guys were fleeing the crime scene in a car and they got in a crash like a, like a block away from my house and two of them were apprehended and only one of them wasn't. And he was seen fleeing into our neighborhood so they set up a perimeter <laughs> around my whole block. Uh, so that was kind of weird. So it was just really trippy to rewatch this video later in the day where stuff was happening and I wasn't aware of this at the time. And what's really weird is I'm pretty sure, I, I need to listen to it again, but I'm pretty sure that my, my like electric kettle actually only beeps three times, three times. And, and I'm pretty sure in that video when I was listening to it, that it beeps four times, which means I'm like half concerned that somebody might have legitimately be like messing with my buttons like right when this was happening and that like this person might have tried to like break into my house. Anyway, the other thing I did when uh, this, so this kind of pertains to writing is when I had come back home because I was freaking out about my hubby being asleep still and not sure if I locked the door and all this stuff. Oh, and I also wasn't entirely sure. I was like 99.9% .9 sure that I had locked up my gun. Um, not that it had any ammo in it anyway, uh, but <laughs> I wasn't entirely sure I had locked it up, so I had to come home. It was driving me nuts not to know for sure, and of course it was locked up and it wasn't a problem, but um, I had to make 100% sure it was bothering me to think that somebody could break in and get that and then use it for stuff that they shouldn't use it for. So anyway, oh, I also, while I was back, I went and... Uh, locked my writing shed because all I could think is wow that'd be a great hiding spot for a criminal on the run um, a comfy writing shed with like a cot and and like blankets and stuff but <laughs> anyway that's my crazy wacky story from the day uh, <laughs> and that was kind of exciting anyway that was kind of fun uh, that's all I'm gonna plague you with this evening anyway you guys have a great one bye